In November 1961, delegates gathered for the Third Assembly of the World Council of Churches in New Delhi, the capital of India. This was the first to take place outside Western Europe or North America. The location reflected the growing self-confidence and involvement in international affairs of newly independent nations in Asia and Africa. As more than 1,000 participants gathered for the opening worship, they found themselves in an atmosphere that was distinctively Indian. The service was held in a vast shamiana, a tent decorated with Indian hangings. The choir sang Indian Christian lyrics to an Indian Christian accompaniment. No one could fail, wrote one participant, to realize that something new was happening to the life of the World Council. It was a fitting location for the integration of the World Council of Churches and the International Missionary Council, whose roots went back to the historic World Missionary Conference in 1910. And the assembly also marked the widening of the WCC scope to become more of a World Council of Churches. Of the 23 churches welcomed into membership, 11 were from Africa, five from Asia and the Pacific, and two were Pentecostal churches from South America. It was also a time of change in the Christian world. In 1959, Pope John XXIII announced the convening of the Second Vatican Council to start its work in 1963. This would usher in unprecedented change within the Roman Catholic Church. Already in New Delhi, the winds of change could be felt. The Vatican had set up a new secretariat promoting Christian unity. And for the first time, official Roman Catholic observers were present at a WCC assembly. Meanwhile, the World Council of Churches expanded its confessional reach by accepting the Russian Orthodox Church and three other Orthodox churches the Bulgarian, Romanian and Polish into membership at New Delhi. The Ecumenical Patriarchate had been one of the WCC's founding members, but following the New Delhi Assembly, all the autocephalous and autonomous Eastern Orthodox churches had become members by 1965, thus greatly strengthening the Orthodox presence. The New Delhi Assembly is perhaps re best remembered for its statement on unity. This described unity as God's gift through the Holy Spirit. The New Delhi statement went on to describe the elements for the visible unity of the Church. Agreement on preaching the Gospel, apostolic faith, sacramental life, ministry, mission and service. This continues to serve as the basis of the fellowship of churches in the WCC to call one another to visible unity in one faith and one Eucharistic fellowship. <laughs>